Honestly, it was actually on our first date when we got to get to know each other and talk to each other. I was like, there is something special about this guy. And um, I remember going home and my mom asked me how the date went and I was just like, it was phenomenal. And the fact that it was only supposed to be dinner and it turned into an eight hour date, it was like I didn't want to leave him. I am most excited to finally be his wife and him be my husband and just start this journey together and have babies with him and just grow old together, just knowing that that's in front of us. And I'm so excited to have him by my side and just know that I get to have him forever. I realize all the things that had to happen to make this day possible. I believe that this is not by chance or luck because that wouldn't give our Maker enough credit, but rather the work of God as He has answered my prayers for a person to love and be with. Looking back briefly, I never had as great a love as I have with you because I wasn't always appreciated or respected as I am now by you. All the things that didn't work out in the past and all of the events that came together to bring you into my life I'm grateful for. It is not by luck, but the design of God's hand that such great things happen to our lives. I love all that you are and all that you are not. We are not perfect people, but you are perfect for me. has finally come my love. I am so unconditionally and deeply in love with you. The love we possess is genuine and true, and I believe in my heart that God united us with the intent that we belong together. It's easy to pick the one you want to spend the rest of your life with when God picks it for you. Every good and perfect gift comes from God, and you are my gift. You have given me love, a best friend, a husband, but most importantly, yourself. I promise you my deepest love, my fullest devotion, through the pressures of the present and the uncertainties of the future. I promise to be faithful to you. I will appreciate you, challenge you, respect you, support you, and to continue loving you so deeply that the word doesn't even begin to cover it. I pledge to value your own interests, desires, and needs, and to realize that those are no less important than my own. Today, I am still captivated by your selfless, humble, caring, and respectful nature. You are the most incredible and magnificent man I have ever known. I'm most excited about taking Jessica as my wife. For she's an amazing person. I love her heart. She's beautiful inside and out. From the heart especially. She's just amazing. Just that that giving, that caring, that appreciation. I've never had that before and that's when I knew I really she was the one for me. And um, she shows that every day and I appreciate it. Even through rough days, good days, we always come out loving each other. And that's really, that's when I knew she was the one for me. And today, what I would love to see is, when I take her as my wife, I join a beautiful family whose hearts are equally as immense love and care and appreciation. And being part of that and having her in my life and knowing her, that she is the one, that's what makes it for me. That's what I want out today. To be united with her in the house of God, a beautiful house of God, and amongst family and friends and people that are really special to me, that have come here from 
far distances, even my family, all the way from Poland. So I really appreciate that and everybody here for me. And um, now we're here together. We're here to be united and spend our lives together. And that's what I look forward to. I can't believe it. It's here. And I'm so happy. I, Paul. I, Paul. Take you, Jessica. Take you, Jessica. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Jessica. I, Jessica. Take you, Paul. Take you, Paul. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Okay, We've only known each other for four years now, although I feel like I've known her my entire life. But I read a quote that said, friendship isn't about who you've known the longest, it's about who walks into your life. Said I'm here for you and proves it. So thank you, Jess, for showing me what true friendship is. You deserve the best and I know you found that in Paul. Knowing Paul for 12 years, there's one thing that I've known about him, which is he's never loved one woman other than mom. It's always been you, Mom, until now. Um, it's not that Paul didn't have options or opportunities, but if you know Paul, you'll know that he's very thoughtful. He doesn't make hasty decisions. He doesn't make hasty moves. He thinks, he thinks, and he thinks, but he thinks some more. Jess lights up any room she walks into. Her energy is so infectious that if you don't know her, you want to get to know her. And once you do know her, she makes you want to be a better person just by being who she is. She sees the good in everyone and brings out the best in you. There was a point in time where I told Paul, I said, you know, listen, uh, for the sake of getting married and making some grandbabies for your mama, why don't you lower your standards a little bit because this, uh, this girl you're looking for, I think she's a unicorn. She might not exist. And man, I'm glad he didn't listen to me. 
because he found her. And he found her because he took his time. He did what Paul does best, because he thought, and he thought, and he waited, but he made the decision when he saw it was right. I know this is a part of the speech where I'm supposed to give you some words of wisdom, so I'm just gonna leave you with this. When a queen is happy, there's peace in the kingdom, Paul. <laughs> Everyone, please raise your glasses and help me toast to the bride and groom.